Are you 60 seconds. seconds. Hey, Helen. Hey, everybody. Hi. How's it going? Hi, guy. No, you know what? We're not doing sports today. Well, Gordy said I... I'm sorry that uh, Gordy told you that. I'm going to fire him right now. Karen, I, I'm, I'm writing up... Good morning. I'm Cookie. Uh, welcome to the show. Joel, 60 seconds. Ice cube, because my soda is hot, but I like my tepid. And bring Justine some of that peroxide stuff for her forehead. Gordy? Yes. Hey there. You here for the Easter egg hunt? Well, you came to the wrong place. Now, how many people are playing the game? Oh, poor you. You don't have any friends today. Oh, well, let's have your name. Hey, you know what? I also need to know if you had plans for a 21-question game or a 7. You want it? You got it. 30 seconds. Less. All right, your buzzer is the letter B, as in check out her booty. Or, you know, his booty. I was like an extra No time means no time. Like, Do I have like to draw a diagram? Ago, 20 totally seconds. And it was just 20 seconds, 20 seconds. All right, uh, when, you, when you know an answer, buzz in. If you don't, don't. But if you buzz in, you only got a few seconds to pick one of the choices or you're going to lose cash, all right? 10 seconds. Good luck to you. Okay, here Nine, we go, everybody. Let's eight, lose a desktop seven, and go oh, to black. Six, and come five, about you. four, Call me. three. Here we go. 900 tuna. Please wait an hour after meals before calling. Sixty seconds. Can we get less in here? Uh, yeah, I'm here. All right, we need to sandbag that light. It's wavering. Thank you. Thank you very much. Look, college boy, I spent some time in places where dog is considered a delicacy, okay? So don't go telling me, uh, you know, what I can and cannot eat. You just have your uh, little Caesar salad and be on your way. Let's try it again. Where did you put the... Hey, happy Easter. Now, would someone please explain to me what a mutant bunny with a basket full of hard-boiled hen eggs has to do with the resurrection of Christ? Got you stumped too, huh? Well, here's an easier theological question. How many people are playing? Aww, you have no friends today. What a sad and pathetic life you must live. One more thing. You looking for a 21-question game? I got it. Just have your uh, little Caesar salad and be on your way. Your buzzer is the letter B, as in beef chunks. Uh, that ain't my job description. 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Look alive. We've got 20. 20 seconds? Okay, uh, when you know an answer, buzz in. If you don't, don't. But if you buzz, you only got a few seconds to pick one of the choices, or you're gonna lose cash, okay? Okay. 10, Ten seconds. Good luck. Nine, Let's make it happen eight, here. Let's lose that seven, desktop, please. Six, and five, go to black. Four, four three. three. Let's make this one sparkle. Places, try new crack me. Sixty seconds. Television was not built on quality entertainment. Television was built on sex. Here, there's my phone number. Um, Smart, I just invest in uh, you know downloading those naked dwarves playing soccer. There you yeah, go. very no, funny. Okay, look, they said it was a job requirement to have. A show. Oh, here comes Raul Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hello, contestants. Happy Easter. Do you like my bonnet? How many people do we have playing today? Watch your that head, was close. boys. If you'd speak up a little bit, we wouldn't have to swing All it so right. well. Sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, happy Let's Easter, have some everybody. Names, I finally figured out right what there. Easter Bunny has to do with Easter. Who in their right mind would bite yeah. the head off a chocolate Jesus? That's all I'm saying. Anywho, how many people do we have playing in today's game? I love it when we have one player. That is much less work for me. Now, type in your name. He's looking a little pale. Yo, one more thing. Uh, you're looking for a 21-question game or more like a 7-question tournament game? This would be like they'd be in Asgard. 30 seconds. Your buzzer is going to be the letter B. That's B as in bastard. 20 seconds. You hear that, Come on, let's go, people. Yeah, we'll be ready in two minutes. Ten seconds. Nine. And eight, get rid of the desktop. Seven, on the bus Let's go six, to black. Five, All right, folks, see you on the other side. Blue Three. Parka. Silver Lining Tarot Center, making the great beyond just a little bit greater. And be hell. You'll see what I mean after I bring in our guest host for this question. 
Today's guest host is my roommate's little brother, Kevin. Let's just say that I owe my roommate, all right? Now we're even. Kevin, get in here. Hey. Yeah, enough chit-chat. Y- you got a question for us or what? I sure do. It's about one of my heroes. What? No, 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 no. No questions about Frampton on my show, okay, Kevin? No, put away the talk box. That, You're not doing that. I thought you were supposed to be nice to me. I mean, unless you want me to... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just let's get this over with. Oh, God. Okay. You probably know that Frampton Comes Alive is one of the biggest selling live albums in history, right? Well... Uninformed music fans may wonder where Peter Frampton went after he came alive on Alive. Considering his follow-up album's title, where did he go? Inside you, into his own mind, the Hotel Frampton, or on a camel ride? Frampton's follow-up to Comes Alive was the less successful but still decent I'm in you. And if any of you ladies out there would like okay, to come Okay, okay, you've had your fun. Now get out. Oh, one more thing, Cookie. What? Frampton Rock! Get out! Okay, let's get back to the game now. Greetings. Happy Easter. What you are listening to is what they refer to in the computer business as an Easter egg. You could only hear me saying this on Easter. Pretty cool, huh? I look forward to speaking to you like this again on Mother's Day. Now, how many of you are there? Just one player? I mean, great. Only one player. Is this the first time on the ride for you? Excellent. It's always great to play with experienced professionals. Please type in your name. Perfect. Thank you. Remember to be all you can be. Enjoy the ride. See you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. You don't know Jack the Ride is sponsored by E. coli diet shake. Drink a shake and flush the slush. And now, please welcome your host, Cookie. Hey there, welcome to the game. I hope you're hungry. Uh, I was gonna have a fish fry, but now I think I'll just serve crow. <laughs> well, I hope you didn't fill up on bread because there's plenty of food here. No sushi. You and your other Yopes spawn friends think you know sushi. Well, you don't know sushi at all, not a wee bloody bit. Oh, oh, you can sit in your fancy $70 a plate sushi cafes and impress your other human scabby friends and order California roll and think you're the sheep's wool. Well, you're nothing. You're sushi juniors and you make me sick. So from now on, you order sushi the real way, the proper way. You get McLeod sushi or you don't eat it at all. McLeod only uses real haggis. None of this simpy wimpy fish snot. We only use haggis. Good Scottish men's haggis. And if you know it's good for you, you'll eat it too. So stop being a baby doll freak loser and leave that hair mousse alone because you're eating my McLeod sushi from now on. If you're looking for an alternative to alternative, check out the new album. Out the meat. Sorry, sir, that's not possible. Ugh, where does a vegetarian have to go to get a decent meal around here? Come on down to Joe's Backyard for two acres of vegetarian delight. For only $9.99, I'll set you out to pasture, and that includes unlimited returns to my grass buffet. Now I don't have to stay home when my non-vegetarian friends go out to eat. I can even bring my dog. <laughs> Depending on the time of year, we've got four-leaf clovers, dandelions, daisies, crabgrass, and of course our most popular item, good old-fashioned grass. I'm a vegan, and I feel more comfortable knowing that my dinner wasn't cooked in the same pan as some helpless hunk of butter. I like not having to use utensils. It's so natural. Wow, look how green that grass is under Joe's lawn chair. My mouth is watering. Let's graze. Hey, Joe, why is it called Joe's Backyard? Because I'm Joe. 
and it's my backyard. One is for the heartache. Look underneath that tree. Well, ain't you the lucky one? Here at Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm, we grow only the freshest kinds of meat. Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just pulled this leg of lamb out of the dead pile. It's still got wool on it and everything. Looks like someone's getting a new pair of mittens and a full belly. Bring the family and spend the day. Aunt Shannon, I'm gonna pick my dinner right out of the cow tank. Which one you gonna eat? That one over there, with the big rubber band around his horns. He's a big un. Come on down to Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm right next door to the Agrichem Lab. I hope to meet you soon. I must have seen Mortgage 50 times already, and I'm Good morning. Nice to see you start the day off right, exercising your brain and your fingers. How many people do we have playing? Okay, stop chewing the ears off the chocolate bunny and tell me how many players we have. We're playing solo, huh? All right then, let's have a name. Doki, have a look around and choose an episode. Or hit the letter F to see your favorites. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to a very blessed day. Happy Easter! Now, if someone would just, you know, please take a moment and explain to me what a mutant bunny with a basket full of hard-boiled hen eggs has to do with the resurrection of Christ! So, what kind of game do you want? Network or... Nothing wrong with a little home action. How many people are... Alright, I'm wondering, what's your... Nicely done, let's move on. Tell me, you want some one-on-one -on -one too? Nope? Okay, choose wisely. Choose your alter ego. where high culture and pop culture collide. Welcome to... Oh, ahoy there. Yeah, thought you'd start the day with a little trivia, eh? You know, you really have to start working on that getting a life thing we talked about. Remember? Hey, how many lovers be...